Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are installing a resource suggested by a user down in the comment section, which adds a realistic fire hose and model to your 5M server. Um, it is usable, which makes it pretty cool, so we're going to take a look at this in a moment. I would like to just remind everyone I am currently still in the process of moving, so if you hear my audio being echoey or anything, I do apologize. It is all part of the course of getting my room set up and getting everything um, in the way I need it so it doesn't become more echoey in the future. Anyway, let's get straight into this one. So today we're checking out hose ls. So pretty much what this does is you've typed slash hose and it activates the hose. They also have a supplier line resource as an add-on. You can find that here. I'm not going to be covering it um, in this video, but I'm leaving the links to all this down in the description so you can go check it out yourself. So it's pretty easy, um, just like any other type of resource. Uh, you just go to the installation section. It will say, go ahead and download the resource from GitHub. We'll go to GitHub. And what's nice about this is um, it does have a release tab. So you can just go straight here and download the hose latest version. Another good thing with GitHub is this is a fully open source C Sharp resource. So if you wanna practice your C Sharp skills and stuff, you could always improve on this, create a pull request if you have anything to add to it, which is pretty nice as well. So here here is our overall folder. Now you have to remember in some resources they don't give you like a folder to put all this in. So we're going to go to our resources folder and we're going to create a new folder and we're just going to name it hose ls. I can't spell today. Hose ls and we're just going to go ahead and drag in all the files which were in our zip file into this folder. It's very easy to do just like any other resource. The only difference is you're making the folder versus the folder already being there for you. We're then going to go into our server.cfg file and edit it with notepad or notepad++, in my case notepad++, and then at the end of whatever your other resources ensure or start is fine, and you're just going to add the name of that folder, hose ls, just like that. Save this and start up your server. We're just going to make sure in the console that it started successfully by looking um, in the started resources. EUP does take a while to load it up if you didn't see our last video I recommend watching that as well but we're just gonna wait for this to uh, skip over real quick it shouldn't take that long and there we go started resource resource hose ls we know we are good to go let's hop in game and try it out all right so we are in game here and I guess go ahead and type slash hose in our little console there and you can see we now have a fire hose which is fully usable in game which is pretty cool you guys can blow this around it as a custom model it's it's very nice i think this is really good for roleplay situations and all that and then all to do to disable it just type slash hose again and it will disable the fire hose so very easy to do if you want that supply line add-on you can go ahead and add that um it's all info on that resource page which is also linked in the description sorry for the lack of videos and upload schedules recently i've been so busy i do apologize um but i am getting through orientation and i cannot wait to have a little bit more time for youtube stuff so so, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you in the next video. See you all soon. Goodbye.